welcome to your next video. Okay, we're going to get ourselves warmed up and in this video we're going to focus on some tummy work. So we're going to be getting down onto the mat. Let's roll these arms forwards. And twist side to side. Because so we're going to get ourselves warmed up and prepared. So just lifting up onto those toes. Reach higher. Reach. Okay, lovely Joss. We're going to tap back. So just tap back. I'll show you from the side. Tap. Little tap backs. Great stuff as we get ourselves warmed up and prepared for your video. Okay, now from here, take the arms overhead. Bring the knee up, bring the arms down. Lovely stuff. Now it doesn't matter if you need to go a little bit slower. That's fine. This is absolutely fine. Now as you bring the knees up, just feel that little crunch into your tummy. Crunching, crunching. Fantastic. Okay, and great stuff here. So circle the ankle. And change. Lovely, and just march here. So, today we're going to focus on some press-ups, some tummy exercises. Okay, now I want you to make sure, as ever, that you're working to a level that feels right for you, okay? It's so important. I want you to feel like you are achieving and getting something out of this, okay? And the, the exercises will be timed, but if you need to take a break during any of those timed exercises, you absolutely can, okay? Remember, you're the boss, <laughs> okay? Good stuff. Now, let's get them done. They're press-ups, okay? Let's build a healthy relationship with our press-ups. Let's not allow them to be the enemy. Press-ups are really, really good exercises. And like I explained in the video tutorial, right at the very beginning, uh, press-ups are something not to be afraid of, okay? Let's not be afraid of them. Let's figure out a way to do them and to build up our strength, which you will do. And I always say in my classes, there is only one way to get better at doing press-ups and that is by doing press-ups okay so let's get into position now remember what I said earlier on if not I'll give you a little recap your hands are nice and wide your hands are situated under your shoulders I want you to get <coughs> your bottom if you can let me just turn slightly there we go so, if you need to be in a tabletop position like this, it's fine, we can start from here, no problem. But if you can walk the knees back a little bit and then drop the bottom, well then we can also work from there. So, what I would suggest is, we're going to do 30 seconds of press-ups. Try with your knees, um, kind of like, walked back a little bit and your bottom down. If you just cannot do that, don't worry about it, get in that tabletop position, but please make sure that your back's nice and flat and you're not looking like this, okay? So back nice and flat, and then you will go from there, okay? So in 10 seconds, we're going to do 30 seconds of press-ups. I'm gonna get my knees back and my bum down just to show you that one. But like I say, if you need to, just go to tabletop, okay? And off you go. Now what I advise, especially if you are just starting out with press-ups, is that you don't aim to go really low to the floor because then you might have difficulty getting back up. You keep going while I talk to you. You might have difficulty getting back up and then you're going to feel like you've failed or that you can't do them. So the best thing to do is to go just a slight bend and straighten the arms. Slight bend, 
straighten the arms and relax there you go 30 seconds of press ups done right we've got a 30 second rest here now when you do your press ups if you find you're getting wrist pain try not to push your body weight down into your wrists yeah tell your chest and your tummy and the rest of your body that it's supporting you so try not to push right down into these wrist joints okay we're going to do another 30 seconds you ready steady and go so bend the elbows straighten the arms bend the elbows straighten the arms so remember if you need to get into your tabletop position you're here yeah try not to stick the bum right up like this keep going also please do not cross your feet keep everything nicely into neutral all right doing really good do you know you've only got five seconds left relax well done we're going to do that again we're going to do that again we're going to do another 30 seconds of press ups then we're going to move on okay so like i say let's get friendly with our press ups okay good stuff so last set here either tabletop position our knees walked back and the bum down, okay? And we're gonna do 30 seconds. So three, two, and one. So remember, a slight bend in the elbows is fine. Try not to go too low too soon, because you might just find that you can't get back up again, and that's not gonna make you feel great. And if you need to stop at any point, then you stop. Remember, tell your chest and your core that it's doing a lot of supportive work here and switch your wrists off and relax. Wow, you've done it. Absolutely fantastic. All right then, well done. So now we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on to some tummy exercises. I'm gonna make sure that you can see me okay. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Can you see me? <laughs> right, so the first exercise that you're going to do, placing the hands on your thighs here, and now we're just going to lift and lower. So you're allowing your hands just to travel up towards the knee. Now notice I say towards the knee, because you might not be able to get there, and that is fine. You might be able to get to here. It's absolutely fine, okay? Now, as you are lifting, I want you to tell your tummy that it's doing the work. If you've got any neck pain here, just very gently support your head with one hand and let the other hand travel up. Let's see how we're doing. Okay, and relax there. Now, be very careful if you are supporting your head when you're traveling up. And what you don't want to do is start using the head to pull your head so your hand to pull your head are you with me on that one okay what you want to do is you want your tummy muscles is what's lifting you up okay let me get my um little lesson plan for you folks so that i know what's coming next right fabulous we're going to do russian twist if you want to here you can use tin of beans bottle of water hand weight if you've got one and what we're going to do from here, and we're going to do this in a few seconds, we're just going to go side to side like this. Okay, okay, and let's go. So we're going to go side to side. Now, what I advise here is to look at your elbows as you are going side to side. And you can really feel where this is working. I'm going to go to the side so you can see as well. Now make sure your back's nice and straight. If you've got any back discomfort here, I'd say just come up a little bit and that should take that away, okay? So you want to feel the tension in your tummy, but you don't want to feel any back discomfort, okay? And relax there, good. So for example, in the Russian twist, something that I see um, quite a lot in classes and I, I encourage people to change, is maybe they've gone too far back and they're doing the Russian twist, but the back's hurting. So what I'd say there is just come up a little bit take the tension off the back okay 
what's coming up next. Right, so again, you can use um, some tins, bottles, water weight, or you can just use without. What you're going to do here, folks, take the legs up, fingertips or weights to the shoulders, and then reach up and lower. Reach up and lower. So you're lifting the head and the shoulders off the mat or the floor as you reach and lower. Reach up and lower. Reach, lower. Good, do as many as you can. Let me get my clock. Oh, and we're done. That went quick, didn't it? Okay then. Right, your next exercise. Uh, again, with or without your weights or your cans. What we're going to do here, have the arms out in front. We'll lean back slightly and then come up. Yes, yeah, so it's going to like a little lean back and then a come up. All right, and let's go. So we're going to do 30 seconds of this. Lean back and lift up. Lovely. So as we lean back and then we come up. And again, remember, you want to feel the tension in your tummy. You don't want to feel anything in your back. So if you do feel anything in your back, don't go as far back. Yeah? Just go back so you can feel it in the tummy, but your back feels okay. A few more seconds to go. You do really, really well. Fantastic. Lovely. Right, moving on to the plank, okay? In your first video tutorial that I did, I did speak about the plank, and I explained that you can do full plank or a half plank. Plank can be done on your elbows or on your hands, with your knees down or all the way up onto your feet. There's loads of different variations of the plank as well, so it's a fantastic exercise. Let's get the foundations right for it, because then the progression route is absolutely fast. Now, plank on your knees and your elbows is where we're going to start, all right? And I'm going to show you. So, elbows down, bottom is dropped. Let me just tuck my top in, so I want you to see a bit more alignment. <clears throat> okay, so can you see that? Elbows under the shoulders, bottom is down, but I've not got a dip in my back, okay? And certainly you wouldn't want to be down like this. I'm afraid that isn't the plank. <laughs> That's uh, having a lie down, okay? So, should we go? There we go, and I'm gonna do 30 seconds if we can. And if we can't do 30 seconds, it doesn't matter. You just do what you can do. Right, coaching points here. Neck and spine in line. Try not to drop the head like that. Also, try not to lift up like this. Try and get everything nicely into alignment. I want you to pull your tummy in, yeah? Pull your tummy right in. Feel that tension there in the tummy. How we're doing? Ooh, and you've just done a 30 second plank. Or if you didn't manage the 30 seconds, it doesn't matter. But that is your plank on your knees and on your elbows. And obviously, as you can see, then how that can progress through. Right, so that's everything done for today with your tummy exercises and your press ups. So now we're just going to have to have a little stretch. I want you to lie on your back and bring your knees in towards your chest. And as you do this, as the knees come in towards your chest, you are relaxing now your tummy muscles. So we're taking the tension off and we are relaxing. Also from here, let's have a very gentle rock side to side and just massage out your back. Lovely, fantastic, that feels really nice. Okay, and then place your feet down to your mat. I want you to have your feet together and your knees together. Take your arms out directly to the side and now drop your knees over to one side and tilt your head over to the opposite direction from the knees. And then relax. Just let your body relax down. And then very, very gently bring those knees back to the centre. Take your head back to the centre. 
You're now going to drop the knees over to the opposite side and tilt your head in the opposite direction from your knees. And bring the knees back to the centre, bring the head back to the centre. And now I'm going to show you the best way to get up from being down onto the floor. Turn it onto your side. When you get to the side, you're going to push your hand down here and push yourself up. From here, you're going to bring yourself to a tabletop position, which we've done already. Then from here, just place your toes down to the floor. Start walking your hands back and then come up from here, okay? All right, now I'm just going to show you that again. So imagine you're here, toes down, walking back, and then all the way up. Okay, so well done. Press ups and some tummy work done. A little bit closer so I can just see you again. And well done, doing so well, so, so well. <clears throat> and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.